During the American Civil War, from 1861 to 1865, soldiers on both sides of the conflict spent more time in camp or marching than they did fighting. While resting in camp, soldiers might write letters to loved ones, or read, smoke, play music, gamble, or whittle away their worries on just about any object that they could get their hands on. These soldiers with idle time often whittled on the most plentiful item they could find, a lead bullet. Some were carefully carved into chess pieces or other unique works of art, while others were flattened and shaped into game pieces. Tennessee Jeff was even fortunate enough to dig a core badge recently that had been carved from a flattened lead bullet by a soldier. And lead wasn't the only material used. Rings and other carved art by soldiers have been found carved from bone and other material. You know, knowing that each piece was once held, whittled, and shaped into a unique sculpture by a soldier, it makes you wonder, who was that soldier? What were they thinking? Who did they leave back home? What horrors had they seen? And did they survive the war? And did you know that lead art has been going on for hundreds of years? It's not unique to the Civil War. The possible Templar lead cross found on Oak Island recently is a perfect example. <laughs> 